This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model S Long Range Palladium from Marcus Beal. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a charging session. But wait a minute, you already did the charging session video, right? Yes, I did. But you know, this car supposedly has the same battery as the Plaid battery. But uh, for some reason, when I tested the V3 on this car, it charged a lot faster. So I'm going to show you in the video now. And I will also show you in the Plaid, I did a cold battery test. So yes, I guess we just uh, rolled the tape then. So see to the left here we have the cold battery and I guess the advantage with Plaid is that it has tripper motor and it can actually pull quite a lot of heat, roughly 15 kilowatt for heating up the battery quickly. And you can see that it goes actually fairly fast in the beginning. I'm really quite impressed at 160 kilowatt when we have fairly cold battery. And then you see also the hot sessions here, that, by the way, that um, the long range we're sitting in now is actually charging faster, way faster than the Plaid. Uh, is it because the Plaid was too hot on the battery? I mean, maybe I overdid the whole preheating before I started plugging in. I'm not sure what's up there, but you will actually see that it can maintain 250 kilowatt or even 200 plus kilowatt for longer in this long range versus Plaid. Could it be because of software or something? I'm not sure. But okay, over to the cold battery. You see that, okay, it goes kind of slow, 150 kilowatt only, but still that, that ain't too bad, you know? Uh, that's actually equivalent to a uh, fat e-tron charging, actually. So, um, and you will also notice that uh, it, it can kind of heat up the battery fairly quick and also it gets some heat up from uh, the process of also fast charging it at a decent rate. And then okay, uh, when we go over to the hot sessions again, Plaid versus Long Range, you will see that uh, the, the Long Range has a, quite a, a significant lead and also I can show you later when you look at uh, per each percent here, the, the, this Long Range for some reason charges faster than Plaid consistently. It's like 10, 20 kilowatt higher than the Plaid. Um, and also you see that at this point the temperature on the uh, long range and Plaid is it's exact same. So uh, it, okay that initial maybe overheating uh, might have maybe caused some slowdown in the beginning but at least at this point it should be exactly the same right? But it isn't for some reason. Okay over to the hot uh, sorry the cold session again on the Plaid okay it goes kind of slow in the beginning but you see that at this point uh, the temperature is about to hit 50 degrees Celsius so it could seem like okay uh, after a while after around 20 minutes of charging then the cold session actually hit ideal temperature and then like I've seen over and over again when you have a, a, a session that charges slightly slower for example an, an ionity session where you can't hit 250 kilowatt then uh, because you go kind of slow in the beginning like you don't spend all the quota then uh, many many cars many batteries the, the regardless of brand tends to have a flat charging curve and that's actually what we are seeing with them um, with a cold session on plant versus the hot session on plant because right now you can actually see that the cold session is charging a lot faster than the hot session because the hot session you kind of spin up all the fast uh, fast speed or something like that you know the boost or something yeah um, but again, still, if you look at the middle again, uh, the hot uh, long range has a uh, quite big lead. And okay, it's uh, actually even at higher state of charge, it's charging faster or at more kilowatt than the rightmost session uh, with the hot session plan. So uh, not much to say around here right now. Uh, now, now, by the way, you also see on the coal session that uh, the coal session <laughs> is charging uh, remarkably fast. Uh, it's like it's like a nice compact. So you can say that, okay, so in case you have a coal battery, yes, it goes slow when you charge it in the beginning, the first 10, 20 minutes, it goes kind of slow. But in case you need to charge it to 80%, you see that uh, it's not that much different really. Uh, the, the, the cold session is just a couple of minutes behind the hot session. And actually you will see that the difference is even, even smaller. In case you need to charge to 90%, then well, is there really a difference here? You see the cold session is uh, having a nice comeback now. It's charging way faster. It's trying to gain on the hot session. So I'm, I'm talking about the left the leftmost versus the rightmost one. And the middle one is about to hit 100%. I mean, not 100%, sorry, 90%. Yeah, the middle one is about to hit 90% there, there. Okay, roughly there, there, you see? So um, it was significantly faster than that. Well, let me see, how many minutes are we talking about here? Uh, that was 43, okay. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, now now we just go a little bit past 90% also. So I also noticed that, uh, yes, past 90%, even the middle one, is charging relatively fast. Uh, it doesn't just plummet the speed uh, after 90% or even 80%. So it has a relatively nice and flat charging curve. So it means that in the case where you need to go really far and you need to go even past 90%, then you still get decent charging speed, at least until maybe, well, we'll see. But I just need to comment on the rightmost session there. There. The hot plaid hit the 90% and then you will see that uh, the cold plaid actually hit the 90 with way, way higher power. It will hit 90% just a minute or two behind uh, the, the hot session. Yeah, and then I see, okay, now at 95, 96%, then the charging goes kind of slow. So yes, this was uh, quite interesting. I still wonder why the heck did the plaid charge slower than this long range? They are you know, on the same kind of stimulant batch or something, right? Um, the, uh, the, the, the battery technology should be more or less the same. So it's wise niche. But oh yeah, let me show you this one. Okay, so this is uh, 50 times uh, playback speed. I speed it up a little bit, but I'm gonna show you that. Okay, in case we compare long range versus the EQS and the IX and the e-tron, you know, like the previous video. Okay, the e-tron GT is still the fastest one of them all because they are abusing the battery. <laughs> no, but um, look now that uh, the long range has actually a very nice lead that is really, really hard for the EQS and IX to uh, beat. So previously with the Plaid, uh, like a semi-slow session, then the EQS and IX beat more less so Moles was the slowest to 90%. Etron GT is going to be the first one to 90%. You can already see it now. But you will see that that lead that the Moles has now uh, uh, is actually very hard for the EQS and IX to catch. I mean, they, they still charge faster than the Moles right now. But you will see that the Moles will actually hit 90% right before the EQS as well, like real neck on neck. And then the IX is actually th uh, third. So in this case, you see that Etron GT was in fact the fastest, but then the Moles is the second fastest even beating the German electro autos. So um, uh, what is nice about the Tesla is that uh, it goes so fast, you, you get nice and flat 250 kilowatt until around 30, 35%. And then you, you still get like a slight slowdown. And uh, with this charging curve, you can actually, like I did in 1000 kilometer challenge, I charge to only 45, 50% roughly. And then I just hammer it to the next one. So you have actually have very nice average speed on the charging session. And because this car has so good range that you can actually drive relatively far just on 50% battery, even in winter, even with headwind. And here you see the charging curve. This is the the, I don't know, the slow session, the plaid session. And yeah, the the long range session goes way flatter and it start dropping around 30 something percent. Yeah. And you just kind of go, it just stays above the the slow session. So I, I don't know, if there was some kind of initial overheating problem, then we, we should see that uh, at least the red line catches up with the green line. But it just, I don't know, uh, I, I also have the latest software on the Plaid. So I, I don't know what's up with this one, but at least at least I think the green line here is what more most people in the, the previous charging session, I mean, the previous charging video said that, you know, th this is the one they have experienced getting, not this red line here. So I don't know what's up with that, but okay, here also, look at this, the cold session here. So very impressive that they can take 150 kilowatt. You can actually go above 150 kilowatt for a little while. And you know, this kind of speed here versus if we had, let's say um, it was the LFP battery, the Model 3, then it was way slower. And then it's like a snowball effect that when you charge it slow, in the, in the lower end here, then you're not building up that much heat. But here, the plant managed to actually recover fairly quick because uh, 150 plus kilowatt gives you some heat from it. Plus that you're also punching in 15 kilowatt of extra heat. Well, actually that's pull heat. And then heat pump actually is more efficient. So I don't know, but over 15 kilowatt of heat pushed into that one. And that uh, allows the car to, okay, we don't have time. We have still a chart, but I think it was roughly after 20 minutes when you hit 50%. Then you kind of caught up, okay, you still don't have that, uh, I mean, you're still behind here, but you see that at least the cold session was able to go a little bit faster than the red session here. So it could kind of catch up uh, at least towards 90%. So yes, now you guys have seen it, huh? Tesla Model S. I have to say, uh, this new Model S with the new battery tech, okay, I should explain again that we are still using the 18650 cells, you know, the, the kind of out, outdated form factor. Uh, but uh, Tesla has redesigned pretty much everything. 
like they, they, there's different chemistry in each cell they have redesigned the whole cooling and everything so that's why the new car here can charge way faster than the old one because if you look at all you know, previous generation raven outside it could almost look the same you can kind of see it in the front uh, section that it's different but other than that you know the car looks the same but uh, the battery is completely different a way way better generation so yes i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Tesla Model S Long Range Palladium and in this video I'm going to show you guys a charging session I did with this one and uh, on the V3 Supercharger. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Tesla Model S Model Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model S Long Range Palladium. This is the very similar one. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model S Palladium from Marcus Beal and uh, Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model S Long Range Palladium from Marcus Beal. This car has the exact same battery, I believe, as the Plaid. And then I did a video. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model S Long Range Palladium. In this video, 